Relax, it's just wine. I'm Tony Del Sol, and tonight, guys, you know I'm wearing the blazer, so we're gonna open up something pretty good tonight. And that is the Frank Family Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon 2019. Coming at you around $50, $55. Now this comes from California, of course, and you know, if you guys know anything about Napa Cabs, they run you around 50 plus and up to seriously thousands of dollars, which is so ridiculous. And I just brought this to the restaurant not too, a couple months ago, and people are loving it. So let's give this a taste, once I open it, of course. And if you guys saw the previous blooper, <laughs> I didn't have my damn opener with me. And it happens, even to the best of us. So Frank Family Vineyards, guys, is, I just actually learned about this, pretty cool. They've been around since 1884, and they are the third oldest winery in Napa Valley. That's pretty cool. And they're now, whoa, sorry. Now they're, and they're uh, now historical, of course. They're a landmark. And I need to go back there and visit. I went there about, God, 15, 20 years ago. And I was impressed back then. I was like, oh, damn, everything's good here. Their Chardonnay was fantastic. The Pinots were good. Uh, the Cabernet, of course. And their higher end stuff. Guys. <laughs> If you get a chance to go up there and try some of this stuff, especially their high-end stuff, wow. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's get that baby out. So a coworker was asking me about the other day that she couldn't open up her wine bottle, and I told her all you gotta do is just go all the way to the end and get a good one open. Not those cheap-ass ones you find at Target or freaking liquor stores or 99 cent stores. Just go to Amazon and get one of these for like 15 bucks. Get a good one. This is called the High Coop. One of my favorites. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that. Uh, and I should, but I'm not. And I think it's just a really fantastic wine opener for the price. And I'll show you, show you, put a picture up there for you guys to see. All right. Anyways, who cares, right? So, just pour, Tony. I will. Relax. It's just wine. So, the color on this wine is always going to be dark and beautiful because it's cab. I just love that label, too. It's so badass. All right. Give this a taste, right? Okay, I can tell just by smelling that it's gonna be freaking good, but it's gonna need some time. And I know you guys hate when I say that. Oh, come on, Tony. Yeah, well, relax, guys. It, uh, for a cab, especially a cab, you gotta decant it for at least, seriously, an hour. All right, let's taste this. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not like a big bomb cab, which I hate anyway. That is actually smooth. It's elegant. It's got great fruit. It's got like, I think it's got like a... Definitely blackberries in there. And I'm also getting like a little hint of like a nutmeg. Hmm. And blueberry. Oh yeah. Okay, right out of the bottle, <laughs> it's actually not that bad. But trust me, with some air, it's gonna taste delicious and you're gonna thank me for that. Now this is a wine that I would definitely pair with, of course, you gotta go Flaming Yon, right? You gotta go Chateau Briand if you could find it. Uh, nice, any kind of steak, guys. I mean, even in freaking In-N-Out Burger, why not? <laughs> I live in California, so that's what everybody gets out here. And I would definitely do this with probably a pork, like a blackened pork. Uh, blackened salmon would be nice. And I'm not kidding, ribs too. Barbecue ribs. Or date night. Just date night, guys, seriously. D or and girls, date night, cheese, crackers, you're good, you're golden with this beauty. Okay, remember to like, subscribe, and relax. It's just wine. Salute.